Christian Gray. <laughs>
just governor, I was a dad of two middle schoolers going through it. And the thing that I know more than anything is if you want to catch a kid up on math, they've got to have a math teacher. <laughs> this last year, we fell from 42nd to 44th in teacher pay. I'm ashamed we're 44th in the country in teacher pay. But you know what? We can give that raise. We can pass universal pre-K. We can provide more professional development. We can provide more social, emotional learning tools for our kids. We can do all that. This next session is still have $800 million left over. It's time we get it done. <laughs> and when we are coming together to do the right things, look what happens. The last 18 months, we become the electric vehicle battery production capital of the United States of America, right here. Chinese, we become the agri-tech capital of the United States of America. We're home to the largest investments in the history of Ford Motor Company, of Amazon, and of so many others. We've announced the largest investment in the history of Western Kentucky. We've made uh, announcements in Eastern Kentucky, the likes of which we have never seen. We have a chance to create prosperity all across this commonwealth. And what's that really about? It's about a dream that we all share. Every single parent and grandparent across Kentucky. And that's that our kids will never have to leave this commonwealth if they don't want to. Because we make every possibility available for them right here. To make that happen, we need these leaders here today on this ballot in Frankfurt, yeah. helping to make it a reality. <laughs> if you think about the stakes, if you think about those stakes, yes, we're emerging from a deep, dark, difficult, historic moment in COVID, but what's ahead of us is more potential than we have ever seen. A chance to not just leapfrog 10 other states' economies, but to be a top 10 state economy, think about this, because I don't remember it ever happening in my lifetime. In August, your Commonwealth, Kentucky, was number one in the entire country in new job creation. <laughs> and in September, we tied for first, meaning two straight months of number one. Sure, there was New Hampshire, but we were still number one. <laughs> What you have in this room are amazing people. They have put their name on this ballot. They go out and they work hard every day, and as Sherilyn will tell you, they are doing it for the right reasons. <laughs> the candidates here care about your access to health care. That's why I was proud that last week we announced that we're expanding Medicaid to dental vision and here. <laughs> the candidates here don't only care about education, they are pro-public education, which we need more to do. <laughs> and the candidates here will put your family first, not sit around and talk about a supermajority not puff their chest, not worry about their power, not try to invade both the judicial and the executive branch, but instead to show up every day to do the work of our people. And when I say that, it is all of our people. That's right. Listen, <laughs> elections, yeah, elections, yes, they're partisan. Yes, we run with a letter behind our names, but the moment we are called to serve, every single Kentuckian is our constituent and we will give each and every one of them our very best. Yeah. Yeah. So are you ready to work hard in these last several days? Are you ready to knock on every door? Are you ready to run every postcard? Are you ready to make every call?
much today as it will on election day and encourage everyone, no matter how they're going to vote, to get out there, to make their voice heard, their vote heard. This is the bedrock of our democracy, and I know this party still believes in our American democracy. Thank you very much. in some way, shape, or form for two Governor Bashirs. My bet saw on Andy Bashir at, at Thanksgiving table uh, because he has endured a lot but has done so much for our Commonwealth Governor. On behalf of all of us here and in Kentucky, thank you. Thank you. Uh, introduced earlier because he is uh, the birthday boy, uh, but